Okay, so we are going, we're going apple picking today. Got my carboy, I'm gonna fill this with five gallons of apple cider, unfiltered. Gonna add to it this uh, sanitizer, well, no, I'm gonna do the sanitization right now. I'm gonna take this out to the orchard and hopefully buy five gallons of cider and then I'm gonna make hard cider out of it. So this works on a pretty simple uh, one ounce per five gallons. So you take it and you squeeze it and it fills up. I need both hands. Okay. All right, let's load her up. Carboy, baby backpack, stroller. All right, we made it. Authentic musical washboard. It's a combo that comes with a Jews harp and a harmonica. It's probably pretty cheap. It says quality harmonica though. Yeah, it's called the Jews harp. Are you sure that's not racist? I'm positive it's not racist. It's a Jews harp. Yeah, there you go. Okay, all right. Look, I don't have any food. Hey girl. No, don't eat my tula. Oh, hey, you're dude, you're dinner. <laughs> you're gonna be food. You're dinner. You're officially dinner. You're gonna be curry. No, <laughs> no. They heard the clicking and now they want the. I don't have any more quarters. Are you out? Hello. Hello. You are really getting bugged by flies. That's a llama. You just got, you just got cheered. <laughs> you just got razored up. You can get That's strawberries and raspberries, and there's a corn. You can use that bag. What, uh, are we doing all the things, or what yeah. are we doing? How much is the corn? Three dollars for free. This is the ye old and cowboy battery power system. Kind of small. <laughs> I, I am in pain. I lifted up the stroller and I felt something pop right in this little spot where it hurts. My rib, I may actually have to go to the doctor. Gotta sneak up on him so I don't see you coming. That's a cool shot, look at that. God, look at that, I wish I had some paper. I'm gonna take a picture of this. So kind of a weird thing happened right now. We're hanging out here in the in the U-Pick parking lot, waiting for our friends to finish picking raspberries. There's Uncle Darren right there, right there. And this, this group right here, they came and they parked. So look at all these spots, right? Look at, it's just an empty, empty lot of, of cars. They decided to park right here. Like, just, just like not even pull in. What the hell? <laughs> Ready with our haul? I'll help you. You push, I'll help, okay?
Hey guys, we just got back from apple picking in Oak Glen, and one of the things I wanted to do was fill this up with five gallons of, of cider, and then ferment it, no, yeah, that's heavy, ferment it and make some hard apple cider. The problem is that they only do that when they're actively pressing. If they've already got everything all bottled, then they're not gonna waste time pressing for you. So, yeah. So we stopped at a place called Snowline Orchard, which produces this black dot hard apple cider, which I did try, and I'm gonna have some while I do this video. But basically what I wanted to do is convert these five Daddy. one gallon bottles oh, of cider. And this is raw cider, which is awesome. Okay. So they do raw cider, which is non-pasteurized, I mean. And so everything, all natural, this was pressed on Thursday. Today is Saturday. So we've got super, super fresh apples. And I've got my sanitized carboy and I've got all my sanitized uh, stuff. So here's a a bit of the black dot. No, it's for daddy. That's daddy. That's daddy stuff. Not for babies. Not for kids. I'm sorry. It is lightly carbonated, and they do that with forced carbonation. So they they create the the, the cider, and then using their CO2, they force pressurize it and then cap it off. Right. So that's how they're able to get this carbonated kind of awesome look. It's pretty good. Okay. So. I'm gonna pour these into my carboy, and then I'm gonna pitch the yeast, which is down here, which is, where is it? I am using Cider House Select Premium Cider Yeast today. I'll post the link in the brewery section on my Amazon store so you can check it out there. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay. I usually don't go beyond this little hip line, only by about half an inch or so, because the fermentation is gonna cause bubble up and possibly explode the top, so always leave some air space. Oh, all right guys, that's gonna do it for today. The uh, I ended up putting the airlock on, mainly because I had some flies flying around and I don't want flies in my in my cider here that I'm making. What should happen is, when I wake up tomorrow, this should be kicking off. The yeast should be vigorous enough that it should get started. But, I didn't hydrate the yeast beforehand, so that could slow it down. That's not a big deal. Anyway, tomorrow, Uncle Jeremy and I are gonna go shooting, so that should be fun. All right guys, take it easy.